Welcome to this first tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a game, a single player game using Cube Engine. First thing you need to do is load um, a single player mode. So you go forward slash SP or question mark or slash SP. It's just going to load a single player game up. And as soon as this game loads, then we're going to go slash map space new map. Okay, the game's loaded, so now we're going to go slash map space new map. Now it's really important to save your map because in single player mode, when you die, it'll load the last save map. So let's save it straight away. Slash save map space test. By the way, when you hit slash and up arrow, it scrolls through all the last commands that you've already put in. Let's look at the basics of Cube Engine in single player mode. Um, you can walk around. Um, sorry, I'll just ignore that. Um, w to move forward, A and D to strafe and S back, and, and spaces jump, and obviously left click shoot, scroll mouse is that one there. Now, what we're going to look at is how to get into edit mode. To edit your map, you go Control E. And I'm just going to go up. And one of the first things you should do is make a height map. So to do that, select most of your map. And to texture, Y and scroll. Y, scroll mouse, choose a texture. And now I'm going to press H. When I press H, I can scroll up to add terrain and scroll down to subtract or make terrain go away, like so. Next thing you might want to do is add some water. So let's add some water to this hole here. So I'm just going to select some terrain and move a selection of area over the top of it. And then I'm going to go full slash water. I only do this if you don't want to jump into it, because this water is only one cube layer thick. So it looks good when you're going around it. But if you jump inside it, you'll fall through the bottom of it. So to make some lava, it's just full slash lava. And press enter, then scroll mouse forward. Now I've got some lava. So to make an object, what you do, let's say you want to make a small room, is mouse up, scroll mouse up, and then scroll mouse down, and you've got what looks like a room. And then you can texture the sides with... So texturing the sides is Y and scroll. So when you choose a texture, Oops, let's do that again. When you choose a texture, Y and scroll, like that. Again, press H once. You can bring the, make the side of the building irregular. And when you choose the texture again, Y and scroll once, that will be the last texture we chose automatically. So Y and scroll, that's the last texture we chose. All right, what's down here? Let's say we want to... Um, Add some glass to the top here, just select the top, and slash glass, enter. Let's say put glass in. Something that's quite important to do is add lighting to a map. So to add a light, even though this room is pretty crude, I'll quickly just texture the sides of the walls. first, before we add a light. Oop, I just deleted that. Y and scroll. So to add a light, I'll just texture the bottom. Click where you want the light, press escape, press editing, entities, light. Make your light color like a violet. Then you press new int light, and then you press K, and it recalculates the light. The only thing it also does, it turns off all the other lights, so then you need to add a sun in, escape, editing, int. So to add the sun in, escape, editing, int, light, sunlight, put it up in the sky where the sun would be, and then press K. Now you've got sunlight and a pretty cool shadow 
around this building. You can also copy and paste light, C, V, 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 and then recalculate. You get more light in there. Now we're going to make a jump pad, so we can jump from here into our hole. So to do a jump pad, let's put what looks like a jump pad in, ints, map model, escape ints, map model, jump pad, R and scroll to rotate it, and now we want to make the entity, so we, when we run into the R and, R and scroll to rotate it, when we run into the jump pad, we can jump. To make the jump pad entity, we press slash new ent for new entity, jump pad, let's give it a height, say 50, and enter, and simply move this over here. Press E to test, press 9 to see your character, okay, and we can also press the forward button and jump into the hole. Oh no, there's glass there, I forgot about that. So that's some of the basics of what you can do in Cube Engine. Um, one of the last things I'll show you is how to bend a wall. So you can select a wall, hold down Q, and scroll, and scroll to each corner. So, yeah, so it's how you bend a wall or curve it. And if you do this, do, do this to an eight-sided shape like an octagon, you can actually make a perfect cylinder. Here are some of the shortcuts that I use in this tutorial. Shortcuts for how to make a new map. Shortcuts for editing. Saving. Making a jump pad. Texturing. Finding map models. How to make a hole solid. And filling with water, death or lava or air or glass. How to create a teleport. How to create a door. Good luck with your journey with Cube 2.